Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to play Clove on Icebox and we'll start right here on A side with his first ability Pick Me Up which is gonna be on your C. The way this ability works is that you need to get a kill or at least uh, kill and damage or assist on the enemy and it's gonna uh, heal you. So all you need to do is to kill the enemy and then you can use your C. And as you can see it's gonna instantly overheal you, it gives you 100 100 100 over here it doesn't it isn't really a shield or anything so that way when this goes off after 11 seconds you want you'll be back to your original hp that way uh, you can still try to make some plays for example you just get the kill your damage and you can still be pushing into the side so that way your you can create space for your team this can be super useful for example in clutch situations where there's not much time left. Also, this ability only costs 100 credits, so it's gonna be useful, for example, in pistol rounds. But before we dive deeper into the video, I need to tell you about today's sponsor, blazingboost.com. On this site, you can find coaching that will help you improve your gameplay, elevate your communication, and help you with other skills that you are unaware of. The coaches are already 24 7 and they will help you in under 5 minutes as soon as you purchase this service. With the code FRATE you can also get 8% off. They are also a trusted site with over 34,000 5 star reviews. So don't forget to check the site out if you need any coaching and let's get back into the video. Next we have your Q ability which is called Metal and it decays the enemies. So that's why it lands and it does 90 damage to anyone in the radius. It has to be directly in the line of sight as you can see so if you threw it if i throw it below it he's still in the radius however it doesn't do anything to, to him since it's not from this point to him in the direct line of sight that way this will uh, decay you for three and something seconds and it costs 250 credits and you can use it for example if you wanna take control you can throw it like this so that way yeah, anyone behind the generator would be low and for example not PQ you I can throw it maybe for example here in the back so right that way here. anyone behind the box is gonna be decayed you can use yeah, it to yeah. throw it at the spots like this as well yeah, yeah. and very simply be trying to pick with it so that way anyone there is gonna be decayed and quite easy to kill you can best way to use it would be to combo it for example with race so if you are attack I mean defending throw it right here ease. Have your race nade right this spot here. as well, and you can get some free kills on anyone who might be caught in that. You can be using it, for example, for uh, to deny the plant right here. I suppose, but it would be great just to bounce it off. I'm gonna pop right here, anyone in this radius. So, in combination with race nade, shock darts, viper molly, brimstone molly, anything, you can get a kill on anyone quite quickly. You can do the same thing when defending. For example on B as well at this spot it really depends on where how the enemies play you can for example throw it like this so that way it gets anyone in this B main and you can even try to peek with it as you can see enemies would usually try to hide uh, after it deploys you can be well, if, when attacking throwing it behind the yellow where the enemies can be standing so that way they don't really ha cannot can peek you that's one of the ways. You can be also denying the plant, for example, right here, like this. Once again, with your other utility, even Killjoy Molly can work if it's already placed there. One of the best ways to use it, you just simply use it to stop the push. So if you know that the enemies are in the, can be anywhere in these spots, just simply throw it there and it should, it can win you some time or at least you can maybe try to swing off of with it a little bit. You don't want to really overpeak since the, it decays only enemies in that area so that way you can get the kill on anyone who might be caught in that now let's move on to smokes which are probably the best here you have to buy only one smoke one more smoke which is gonna cost you 150 credits and each smoke lasts 20 and something 20 and something seconds uh, each smoke regenerates in 30 seconds and you can use them to create one way smokes for example like this there's plenty of spots where especially on this map where you can create these one ways you can for example try to take control of the belt as well you just wanna smoke deep for example like this 
so that way you can hold it you can get into the position and usually enemies if this is smoked off they would not really swing it unless if they do you should have a free kill there's another ways for one way smokes you can for example right use it here. to place it uh not there but where is it here a smoke. just like that and you can be waiting for anyone right to come here. in this spot as you can see the enemies would not see you if they would try to push it you can be holding this off angle and you can be playing it from different angles as well you can be doing your smoke on this corner right no here beacon. and playing in this spot once again quiet the enemies once again you're right hidden behind this thing so they cannot see you and you can see quite deeply all the way there as you can see on the other hand if you are just simply pushing you can do one smoke like this and one on the belt so that's where you block off any of the rotations you can do them further back just like this so that's where you give yourself a little bit more space to work with right here or the other way you can just simply smoke this spawn off you can do one on the rafter not like that you want to do it on the rafter no peeking. yeah just like that so that way anyone who'd be under it cannot push it the spawn is smoked off it's unlikely that there's gonna be anyone on top right of it here. but have in mind you are not really gaining that much space with it Dropping a smoke. you can do this one you can plant the enemies cannot really push you unless they are going into the smoke and once again you can see them much sooner than they can see you if you are retaking site where and you have only one smoke no usually the place where you want to place it right would be here. right here or you can be smoking right out the spike as well depending on the situation if you are trying to execute on a while pushing there as if, you, as if you are attacking it's quite difficult since there's few spots but overall you should be doing one right here and one with this Dropping spot smokes. so that way you can gain space only thing right that you here. have to worry about is anyone go in here or right hide in the corner but it should not be that difficult to clear since there's not many of angles that can really make mess, mess you up when defending there's plenty of one-way smokes which you can use for example just simply placing it on the corner right here no and you can hold it like this it will be difficult for enemies i would recommend you to place it to right the here. side like this so that way it is closer to you and the enemies cannot really swing you like this unless they want to really hug this but you cannot do anything against that and they once again would have a big disadvantage if they did that right since here. you would see them again much sooner than they can see you you can do the smokes even deeper for example like this on this no box beacon. once again you can be holding that since anyone who would be trying to swing that would be in a big disadvantage you can right be trying to for example hold this while also not having to really worry about this spot if you're going for retank you can still be using the same smoke i think this one works the best no peeking. since as you can see it would be difficult for enemies to try to kill you on the spike it's quite super easy to know where they are shooting from and you can gain a lot of space with it as you can see and lastly let's move on to your ultimate which is called not dead yet and it works it's pretty much the self revive and after dying you can resurrect yourself you have to press x or in my case f to activate it so it's gonna look like this you will have a short amount of time to use it when you use it you're gonna enter this state so that way you can hide it's pretty much the same as arena dismiss and now you have to kill lastly there is the ultimate which is called not that yet which is on your x in my case in f and it works it is pretty much the self revive so if you die in any way for example fall damage in this case you can self revive yourself by using x and you have a short amount of time to reposition it works the same way as Reina dismiss and now you have a 12 second window in which you have to get a kill or damage in assist on anyone and if you don't do that you will just die again however if you get the kill you will be able to normally play the game and in this case i'm dead and as you can see my x is in the middle of this circle so that way you cannot move it it doesn't matter if you are at a, on a different teammate you just have to place the smokes you can place the smokes you can be trying to these smokes will uh these smokes will 
regenerate as well they will work the same way as they did before as you can see they have this darker darker color and you can use this to help your teammates if you want to use these try to inform your teammates what you would do what you are gonna do since if they are in a clutch situation they would not really expect this since this from now on it's mechanic at the time of this recording of this video so you should tell them what you are gonna do you should have an idea and not trying to really grief them you can help them for example by smoking off the spike if it be planted right here you can try and try help them in with that you can try to smoke off the enemy if he's for example in main you just simply smoke that and it works that way so if you are trying to get into the side try to die don't really lurk, lurk since you then you cannot help your teammates if you would die anywhere in a main you are still able to smoke anything right here and it can be still very helpful to use it so yeah this is one of the best characters that i added in a long time i hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching and see you guys soon bye